Hey, what is up my resilient friends? Today we're going to go through back strengthening exercises. Uh, there's going to be several of them from bird dogs to deadlifts to seated rows, standing rows, all that type of stuff, supermans. Um, so if you haven't heard of any of those or you have, I'm going to demonstrate how to do them and sets and reps and all that type of stuff. So let's jump into it. I'm Dr. Nate and I am here to help you get more resilient, overcome pain and learn how to make yourself strong. So uh, we're going to jump into a lot of good stuff today. So we're going to start with some basic movements. Um, even if you're having a ton of back pain, uh, I hope that a few of these that you can test out and see how you feel. Okay. So this first one is called the bird dog. And we're actually going to start with a variation of it. So the most simple part of the bird dog is literally just bringing the leg back. So these are just single leg hip extensions. So we're just bringing the leg back like so. And doing this for 10 repetitions just to start with. These are very basic, okay? And if it hurts to go all the way back, you can even just go partially. So even if you're just partially kicking back and then you can work on going all the way back. If your wrists hurt, you can go on your fists. Uh, if it still hurts, uh, try putting your wrists on a more firm surface. So that, uh, that can take a lot of the discomfort away. The next thing for the uh, progression of the bird dog is you're kicking one leg back and then bringing one arm up. Okay. So you're actually going to eventually should be able to do that on either side, like so. So you're thinking about stretching your arm out in front of you and your leg behind you, kind of like a string is pulling in either direction. Head positioning, eyes should be gazing down towards the yoga mat, or exercise mat, whatever you want to call it, Pilates mat. <laughs> okay. And that is a bird dog. Uh, and those are different, and I showed different progressions of that too, to uh, make sure that, you know, depending on what your ability level is, what you feel comfortable with, you can try either one of those. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is called a fire hydrant. Uh, it's super simple. I will show you that right now. So the fire hydrant here, uh, it's working on the hip and the back, because every time you lift your leg up, You'll notice that your back does tense up. That's normal. You want that to tense up to stabilize uh, your pelvis while you're lifting your leg up. So this is a fire hydrant, literally just coming up and back a little bit. So we're not going directly out to the side, but we're kind of going at a diagonal. And we're not lifting the hips up like that, so we're not rotating like so. It's just coming from the hip. So if you start rotating up like this, just be aware of that and correct it. And then the other side, like so. And if you look at it from the back, it looks like this. And the other side. There you go. So that is one that you can try out too. Those can get pretty tough on the glute med muscle. Um, the glute med muscle is the smaller uh, muscle of your gluteus muscles. You have three of them, gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. And the medius is more on the uh, outer aspect or the lateral aspect of your hip. Helps with stabilization of the pelvis with walking and all that type of stuff. Uh, and it's a muscle that is often weak. So working on that uh, is, a, is a good thing, especially if you have been favoring one side, uh, walking on like your left side or uh, favoring your right side. All right, so this next one is a little more intense. So if those ones were okay and you're doing those no problem, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, two variations of this. So there's the single, alter, there's the alternating Superman, and then there is the uh, Superman, just tear out Superman. And I guess it looks a little bit different than the, the movies, but <laughs> you get the idea. So uh, let's 
let's do this. <clears throat> All right. So for this one, you're going to be lying on your belly, actually. Okay. And uh, for the Superman, for the alternating arms, you can keep, you're going to be out in an extended position like this. Okay. And you're literally just going to be alternating, lifting, alternate leg, alternate arm. So as you can tell, I'm already breathing. <laughs> These uh, can get quite challenging. If you want to make it really hard, you can actually stay up the whole time uh, and then alternate. And I couldn't even talk doing that one, so <laughs> that becomes more challenging. You're kind of tensing the whole body. It's a great back strengthening exercise. Um, if you have trouble doing a lot of extension, um, which is bending backwards, then this one might not be uh, too comfortable for you, but uh, you can slowly work into it by starting with the bird dogs first, um, starting with the single leg hip extension, and working your way up to being able to do that. I'm breathing. All right, so this next one is going to be the uh, full Superman, and I'll show you what that looks like. So similar to the single, and the, or the alternating Superman, uh, now we're just fully extended, and we're coming up. Nice and holding it for a second, coming back down. And the key with this one is to squeeze your glutes. There we go. And simple. So that one you are fully tensing your body. And um, again, if you have issues with extension, like bending backwards, this one might not be the one to start with because it could flare symptoms up. However, uh, if you've worked up to it, it should be totally fine. Uh, this one's great because you'll feel everything in your back uh, in a good way. You're, uh, you're tensing all of those muscles. You are uh, working on your glutes as well. And really, it's, it can help with your range of motion too. So uh, this is a really great exercise. Really like it. More advanced, but uh, still a good one. All right, so this next one uh, is a deadlift. I really like the deadlift, especially once people are able to tolerate it. Not everybody will. Some people are really concerned with bending forward, um, and that puts a lot of strain on their back, and they're afraid that they might injure themselves. So uh, this is something that you can work up to. It's not, I don't start everybody on this, but some of you may be able to actually start with this movement and feel totally fine, and this is a great place to start if you don't, uh, if you don't feel like this will flare you up. So you can start with really light weight. You can actually start without any weight if you'd like to. Uh, I'm starting with about, I think, 20 pounds here. So you can start with zero, you can start with 10, you can start with 20. Um, but I'm gonna show you the proper form or uh, some optimal form uh, for this movement. So uh, the way that I'm setting this is I'm actually putting the weight between my feet like so, okay? So there's a few different ways to do a deadlift. We're going to do it a little bit wider stance, so it's a little easier to, uh, to get down into position. So I'm going to grab the kettlebell. You can also do this with a dumbbell by holding it kind of like this. And I'm just going to pick it up like so, right? So this is totally, um, totally doable, and uh, a lot, most people should be able to work up to this. Uh, you don't have to start at 20 pounds. You can start at 10 pounds or 5 pounds. I'll show it from the side too. So we're here. So feet are either shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Turn the toes out slightly. So you notice my toes are turned out. They're not straight ahead. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it's actually easier to get into a good position if your toes are turned out a little bit. So do it that way. And then from the side, you'll notice that, where am I bending first? I'm bending through my hips and slightly through my knees. My back stays flat, and I come back up. So think about bending through your hips first, keeping your back flat. Keeping that back flat, nice and neutral. And let me just be clear that, um, keeping a quote-unquote neutral spine 
and you know keeping it flat. That doesn't necessarily mean it's safer or that um, you know that it's protecting against injury. It's just as you get heavier with the weight, it's going to help you to be able to lift more weight. And if you are having trouble with bending forward, sometimes starting with a more rigid and uh, straight back can kind of help you uh, feel more protected. So it allows your body to do the motion, um, even if you might have symptoms with uh, more of a, um, a, uh, a bending or flexing of the spine. So um, you shouldn't be afraid of bending like this, but um, if you are having issues, with that movement, then it's totally understandable. So uh, starting with a neutral spine with a flat back, it's typically a good starting point uh, just because you want to get used to using um, form that is a little bit better than uh, you know just grabbing it and ripping it up without thinking about it. So uh, that is a deadlift. All right, so this next one are just box squats. So we're literally just going to be squatting down and up. So you can cross your arms, you can put your arms out like this, um, they can be at your side. I usually have my hands together like so, and I'm just standing up. So just like so, just like this. So this is also a really good starting point for someone who's just getting back into working out. Uh, you, you'll notice that there's not too much forward bend, so if you're afraid of bending forward, this one can be fine. Uh, this one's typically comfortable, and uh, the benefit of this is you'll get your breath going, you'll be breathing a little bit more, and you'll notice that your legs probably start to get tired. Um, everyone's at a different level, so you have to choose and see um, how, how much you're able to do. Um, and if you haven't done this for a while, just start slow. Um, even start with like two sets of five to see how you feel, uh, and then working up to 10 reps, 15 reps, and, and so on. If that is really easy, and you feel like you can do it, you can even squat. So you can even squat without a box if you feel like your balance is good enough, if you feel like your strength is good enough uh, in your legs, you can even start with squats. So again, uh, there's not that much flexion or bending forward that's happening through my spine, um, keeping my chest fairly upright. Now some people, uh, everyone squats a little bit differently, so some people will be like this, that's totally fine. Uh, it all depends on your hip structure, partially. Um, so that's a squat. So the main thing with the squat is that you want to push your butt back. And you want to make sure that your weight is centered through the middle of your foot. Okay, weight is centered through the middle of your foot. So uh, just like so. If you notice your feet are coming up like this, that means you shifted your weight too far back. If you are coming up and your heels are coming off, that means you're shifting your weight too far forward. So you need to find a position where your feet or your weight is centered through the middle of your feet, okay? Alrighty, so I'm all the way over here now. Um, but this next one is a farmer's carry, okay? So I'm literally just holding some weight. You can start with really light weight. Um, with either two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, um, 20 pounds, whatever you feel comfortable starting with. You'll pick it up like we practiced with the deadlift, and then you're just walking, okay? So you're literally just walking. You turn around. This is super simple. The reason why this one is so good for your legs and lower back is because you have to tense up every time you take a step. And that tensing is working the muscles, and typically when we're having a bout of lower back pain um, and it's been persisting over some time, it's good to uh, start using those muscles again, to start getting more active and finding movements that we can do. So those are farmer, uh, farmer's carries. All right, so this next one here is a seated row, okay? So uh, you want to take a hold this back a little bit. You're going to want to take a weight of a band that feels, you know, uh, depending where you're starting. If you haven't done these before, just start with a movement, or I'm sorry, with a uh, band that is light uh, to medium resistance, and you're literally just going to pull back like so. 
So you want to start with some tension in the band. You don't want to start with the bands slack like this. You want them to have some tension, okay? And you're literally just pulling back. Arm should be at about 90 degrees. My elbow should be bent here, at about 90 degrees right here, okay, uh, towards the end. And we're really squeezing those shoulder blades together, okay? Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Super simple, just like so. So some people will pull way too high, some will be too low, so you want to pull kind of straight back, elbows at 90 degrees, pinch those shoulder blades together, and then here. And this is great for lower back type stuff, uh, upper back, neck, if you're hitting your middle traps, your rhomboids, your uh, upper traps a little bit, even some of your lats, most of your delts as well. So um, this is a great exercise, and again, um, start light, especially if you've never done these before, and kind of progress from there. But uh, for this particular motion, um, you can, I know that these have handles, but you can use bands, you can use like bands without it, and you can loop it in a door frame, or find a way to affix it to something in your house, your apartment, um, and then you can just loop it around, grab either end, like I could even grab it like so, not even on the handles, and just pull it back. Right. There's a lot of ways to do these. So that's a seated row. All right. And then the uh, the cousin of the the cousin of the seated row is uh, standing rows. So uh, ideally, the the band is up a bit. I'll adjust this. So ideally, it's like so. I'll move back here. And again, we're just pulling back. So we can get into a little bit of a squatted position and pull back like so. Right? So again, elbows at 90 degrees, just pull them back. Um, you can also do these guys. So you're pulling back. These are a little bit harder. So um, just pulling back like so. This is getting more lats. So doing shoulder extension, right? Okay, so that, that's a really good one. And then, um, again, you can even do stuff like this. So now you're doing reverse flies. So um, these are not necessarily just um, lower back centric. Like, this is getting your middle back, uh, upper back, lower back. So it's a really total body uh, workout with these bands. Great place to start, especially if you have trouble with any of the bending type movements. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below what your favorite exercise was. Also, please subscribe to this channel to get updated every single time that I upload a new video. I hit that bell too next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time a new video comes out. Stay resilient, stay awesome. I'll catch you later.